Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to talk about the Times Square ball drop in New York. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Do you still remember how you celebrate the 2020s New Year's Eve? For me, I clearly remembered I celebrated it with billions of people watching the live of show on the Times Square, New York. The ball drop when you're counting down 9, 8, 7, 5, blah, 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 3, 2, 1. You see a very colorful ball dropping from the pole on the top of the building of the Time Tower. Today, I just want to talk about some history about the ball dropping. For this ball dropping, it was first started in 1907, December 31st. But before that, the building, the Time Tower, was the headquarter of the Times newspaper. And to celebrate New Year beginning, they were using some fireworks. Then later, they changed to end a ball drop to attract more people to get together to celebrate the New Year's Eve. About the ball drop, they borrowed the idea from a building next to them at that time, which is called the Western Union Telegraph Building. So on top of that building, there was a ball. But why we are using it? This is a technology back in 18th century. At that time, a ball is on the pole. But it will instantly drop when they get a telegraph pulse, a signal there. At that time, people use this to like coordinate times. You may adjust your watch to make sure your watch shows the exact time it should be in that area. Also, some other interesting history or big events happening there. We have to talk about a person whose name was William Allen. So you know, like back in 150 years ago in New York, or not in New York, in United States, Every city and every town, they have their own time. At that time, it's like you travel from one town to another one. The time may change about 10 minutes, 5 minutes, or 2 minutes. So you can imagine from one city, for example, from New York to Chicago, you have to pass several hundreds of time from different uh, towns. Back then, over 150 years ago, people do not care too much about the, the time. Mainly, they were farmers. They just uh, arranged their daily schedule based on the sun. But after the invention of the railroad, the train, people's living speed becomes fast. From one city to another city, before maybe takes months, not only takes days to arrive. So it's not convenient to have a different time zones across different cities. But the people propose different ideas. Finally, they decided to choose a time zone. You know, now in the mainland of the United States, there were four time zones, Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern. And they decided to use like a one hour difference for each time zone. So now it's much easier for travelers to travel across the country. William Allen was the person who centralized this one and realized the modern time zone in the United States. That was in 1883. The ball drop initiate and reference the standard railway time. And after that, it becomes a kind of popular way to mark some special event 
but special time. Same Times Square borrowed this idea, and now over hundreds of years, millions of people watched the New Year's Eve ball drop from the Times Square. The next time when you celebrate the New Year, besides the joy and the hope you wish for the New Year ahead, also you can think about the history of the ball drop. Hope you learned something today. Have a great day. Thank you.